Andrew Slack is next. Andrew, if you can give your, your brief intro and provocation. Thank you. My name is Andrew Slack. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, he, him. And we'll be, I'll be looking at this. Oh, you can find me at, at Andrew Slack on Twitter. So looking back um, and paraphrasing the mythologist Joseph Campbell, if you want to understand what the dominant empire you are living under, then look to the tallest building in the city. So in the 15th century in Western Europe, uh, the tallest building was the church. By the 17th, uh, 18th century, that was the political palace or nation state. By the 20th century, it became the corporation. And by this century, most of our lives have become intertwined in what we call the proverbial cloud. Now, the cloud is taller than the tallest building. The cloud is also omnipresent. Uh, it has uh, water vapor that is everywhere. And the dominant empire of the cloud is now an omni empire that is studying our inner lives and our outer lives. So how do we mitigate the perils and maximize the promise of this brave new world? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Andrew. And shout out to Falcor. I appreciate that in the background. I see you. Andrew, hit it. Great. Uh, hi. So... Yeah, we talked, we went deep into this question of the metaphor of the cloud. And is there, what is the distinction between the cloud and the corporation? Um, and how does, what does that mean for our democracy? What does that mean for power? What does that mean for empathy? What does that mean for how we see our interconnection? Uh, we explored questions around uh, the cloud-based companies as a new kind of media tool um, that need, the, that, that may or may not need regulation. Uh, the same way TV has, but hasn't yet had that kind of regulation. And looking at this notion that the church offers us cosmic grounding, uh, the nation state offers us participation, the corporation offers us innovation. And that is, the, that is what those three empires do when they are at their best and not at their worst. And then there comes this question of, well, what does the cloud offer? Is there beauty? Some people didn't think so, uh, but there was a proposal that maybe all the, the cloud uh, the internet offers all three of those things at its best. Uh, participation, innovation, and cosmic grounding, reflecting our interconnectivity that we have with each other on this planet. All right. Great. Thank you so much for that.